In this video, I'll be introducing the product topology. Let's start off by defining the Cartesian product. Okay, so what we do is we say that x cross y for two sets x and y is going to be defined as the set of all pairs x, y such that x is in x and y is in y. That's how we define the Cartesian product. Okay, and of course we have to define what the pair is, and the pair is usually, it's usually defined as the set of x and the set of x, y. And that way it has an intrinsic order that you're able to tell. And so how can we apply a topology on it? So definition two is going to be the product topology. Um, if x with a topology t x uh, y with the topology t y um, given, so given x with that topology, y with that topology, x cross y is given the topology, call it tx cross y um, generated by the basis if I have x right here y right here and then these are all the pairs of points x y is going to be the plane okay this is the Cartesian product if I have an open set u in x an open set V in Y, I can go ahead and send, look at all pairs of points that are in this product, and that will be an open set, and you can do any arbitrary union of those, okay? And so, um, and this generates a basis, and theorem, that is a basis. Um, Okay, first condition is that any x has a basis element around it. Well, you just do x cross y. Okay, that's open, and so this is a basis element. That contains every single pair, and so that contains, that's, it's, it's good. <laughs> okay, so 2 is going to be between any two basis elements, the intersection of them contains another one. Well, if I'm doing u cross b intersect u prime cross v prime, this is actually equal to u intersect u prime cross v intersect v prime, as you can prove, uh, set theoretically. And so this, of course, is a basis element because finite intersections of open sets. What if I want to extend this even further so that not only can we just do pairs, we can also do infinite sequences and give those a topology. And that is a very interesting concept, and that's what I'm going to define. Let's define the general product. If x alpha for alpha and j is a series is a collection of sets the product for alpha and element of j of x alpha is going to be equal to the set and now it's going to be sort of weird it's going to be the set of the functions x that bring you from the index set j that i'm using right here into the union of all the x alphas for alpha and j um, such that x of alpha is an element of x alpha. It's ordered, it works, and it doesn't rely on 
pairs. And so now you can do uncountable sort of things with this. Denote this by x alpha for alpha and j. Okay, that's what we usually denote it by. So instead of just denoting it as a function x of alpha, we usually just write x sub alpha instead. Okay, so definition four is going to be general product topology. Okay, so if um, x alpha t alpha for alpha and j, a collection of topological spaces, the product for alpha and j of x alpha is given the topology generated by the basis of sets the product for alpha in j of u alpha for u alpha element of t alpha and <clears throat> u alpha is not equal to x alpha for only finitely many alpha and element of j. Okay, so that means that you only multiply finitely many alpha, um, u alphas together that aren't just the entire set. And so this, the reason why we reserve it to finitely many is because actually a lot of the structure is lost. Okay, a lot of the structure, and we'll see that in further on. And now definition 5 is going to be the box topology. This is probably more intuitive, but it removes a lot of the structure, as you will see. Um, and um, same sort of definition. We have all of these topological spaces... Um, and then, pi alpha and j x alpha uh, has the topology uh, uh, generated by the basis of sets, the product for alpha and j of u alpha for u alpha and element of t alpha seems like the more intuitive definition, but it actually removes tons and tons of structure. Okay, so we're going to um, look at that next time and prove a lot of theorems about these structures next time as well. And that's it.